Good morning, Sweetum. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Sweetum. Today's Tuesday. May 26, 2020. My name is Matt Carlini and here's today's announcements. Attention students, the final day for Locker Cleanout Day is this week, Wednesday, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. You must enter the bus loop to get to door one where you will pick up your stuff. And if you have anything that must belong to the school, you must drop it off. Thank you. Congrats to this week's Male Athlete of the Week, which goes to all three captains of the tennis team. Cole Feldman, Connor Merrifield, and Ryan Sinclair. These boys have been outstanding in so many ways and represented our team exactly how I would want our captains to act. These three individuals were really motivated to keep our team strong throughout the offseason and keep on improving their games. These three players have been so ready to compete and represent our school. They are qualified for the ECIC tournament last year all making it to the final 16 of the entire county. All three are great players with great attitudes. Congrats, boys. This week's Female Athlete of the Week goes to a lacrosse player, Maria Ball. Maria is a two-sport athlete as she plays varsity field hockey and varsity lacrosse. Maria was set to take the field this spring as captain of the varsity lacrosse team. Her hard work and dedication to her sport shows as she participates in many off-season workouts for lacrosse. Congrats to this week's Female Athlete of the Week, Maria Ball. What an amazing day for CORE students on Thursday. Sweet Home alumnus James Foy, from the class of 2009, joined via Google Meet and shared his experience in music production. Based out of Atlanta, Foy produces albums for R&B and rap musicians such as Cardi B, Meek Mills, and Chris Brown. Foy gave advice to amateur producers and talked about some of his Sweet Home Senior memories. Thank you, James Foy, for inspiring our students. That's all from us for today, Sweet Home. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Be sure to keep checking your email every day for updates from your teachers and counselors. Now, stay tuned for more announcements.
And now for Media of the Day with Senior Alex Biondo. Hey, sweetum. My name is Alex Biondo, and welcome back to another Media of the Day. Today's media is a game called uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Uh, do make sure you have your parents' permission to play if you are not uh, 17 or older, um, because this game can definitely be not school appropriate. So um, I do want to make sure I specify this. Make sure you have your parents' permission to play. Um, this is one of my favorite games. Uh, I have put countless hours. I think I have like 60 hours in this game. Um, it is very, very, very fun. But uh, anyways, I'll read you a bit about it. Middle Earth Shadow of War is an action role-playing video game developed by Monolith Productions and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. It is the sequel to the 2014's Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and was released worldwide for Microsoft, Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on... <clears throat> October 10th, 2017. Shadow of War is about... Um, I, I guess it didn't really say stuff. Wh whatever. Uh, Shadow of War is about a uh, person named Ranger having to go and uh, conquer Mordor. If you know anything about Lord of the Rings, then uh, you, you would definitely like this game. Um, it's uh, definitely um, a, de definitely a really, a really good game, especially if you're old enough to play or your parents let you. Um, I'll show you a couple pictures about it. So he, here's one of the things like you you can grow your own army and uh, uh, like attack the opposing castles and stuff like that. So it's definitely fun and uh, interesting. And so uh, y you can see a bunch of the stuff that's like your area, and uh, here is you about to uh, set forth to con conquer. Here's like the world map and everything like that, and uh, another cool view. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked this review, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye! Attention Sweet Home families, if you are in need of any meals during this time, please know that meals are available at schools and sites within our community. Meals are distributed at Glendale Elementary, Maplemere Elementary, Heritage Heights Elementary, Willow Ridge Elementary, and the Sweet Home Middle School. Meals are also available at Raintree Island Apartments in front of the playground, Amherst Baptist Church on the corner of Pepper Tree and Willow Ridge, the Sutton Place Apartments near 237 Traverse Boulevard, at the intersection of East and West Somerset Lanes, at the intersection of Glenhaven Drive and Vine Lane, on the corner of Hartford and Millersport Highway, on Elm Circle in the Buckeye Road area, at the corner of Bearhaven and Azure Pine Court, and at the North Bailey Fire Department on Sweet Home Road. If you have any questions regarding meals and their availability, contact Sandy Coca, the District Food Service Director, at 716 716- two five zero one four four six or go to www.sweethomeschools.org for more information hey sweet home families here's some additional local assistance from food pantries near you we know this is a difficult time for many in our sweet home community local food pantries are available to help sweet home families if you and your family are in need of food from a local pantry you can call the numbers on the screen and you'll be informed of which pantries to be followed Check out the food pantries listed below for your zip code and which location can serve you and your family. Options for Sweet Home Families include New Beginnings Food Pantry on Willow Ridge Drive, St. Christopher's Food Pantry on Ellicott Creek Road, St. Vincent de Paul's Food Pantry on Sweet Home Road, St. Paul Tiger Den on Main Street, Town Square Food Pantry on North Forest Road, and University Presbyterian Church on Main Street. At this point, families do not need to call St. Christopher's or New Beginnings ahead of time. They can just show up at one of the distribution days. St. Leo's needs a call because they deliver the food. It may take a day or two before one receives a call back. All food pantries are operating as drive through resources. If you do not have transportation, please call the Sweet Home Family Support Center at 250-1229 and we will make arrangements for food delivery. Again, if you have any questions, on any of this information, please call the Sweet Home Family Support Center at 250-1229. We are all in this together. We are Sweet Home. <laughs>